This is section 58 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Booksellers by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. Address at Banquet on Wednesday evening, May 20th, 1908, of the American Booksellers Association, which included most of the leading booksellers of America, held at the rooms of the Aldine Association, New York. This annual gathering of booksellers from all over America comes together ostensibly to eat and drink, but really to discuss business. Therefore, I am required to talk shop. I am required to furnish a statement of the indebtedness under which I lie to you gentlemen for your help in enabling me to earn my living. For something over forty years I have acquired my bread by print, beginning with The Innocents Abroad, followed at intervals of a year or so by Roughing It, Tom Sawyer, Gilded Age, and so on. For thirty-six years my books were sold by subscription. You are not interested in those years, but only in the four which have since followed. The books passed into the hands of my present publishers at the beginning of 1904, and you then became the providers of my diet. I think I may say, without flattering you, that you have done exceedingly well by me. Exceedingly well is not too strong a phrase, since the official statistics show that in four years you have sold twice as many volumes of my venerable books as my contract with my publishers bound you and them to sell in five years. To your sorrow, you are aware that frequently, much too frequently, when a book gets to be five or ten years old, its annual sale shrinks to two or three hundred copies, and after an added ten or twenty years ceases to sell. But you sell thousands of my moss-backed old books every year, the youngest of them being books that range from fifteen to twenty-seven years old, and the oldest reaching back to thirty-five and forty. By the terms of my contract, my publishers had to account to me for fifty thousand volumes per year for five years, and pay me for them, whether they sold them or not. It is at this point that you gentlemen come in, for it was your business to unload two hundred and fifty thousand volumes upon the public in five years, if you possibly could. Have you succeeded? Yes, you have, and more. For in four years, with a year still to spare, you have sold the 250,000 volumes, and 240,000 besides. Your sales have increased each year. In the first year you sold 90,328. In the second year, 104,851. In the third, a hundred and thirty-three thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. In the fourth year, which was last year, you sold a hundred and sixty thousand. The aggregate for the four years is five hundred thousand volumes, lacking eleven thousand. Of the oldest book, The Innocents Abroad, now forty years old, you sold upward of 46,000 copies in the four years. Of Roughing It, now 38 years old, I think you sold 40,334. Of Tom Sawyer, 41,000, and so on. And there is one thing that is peculiarly gratifying to me. The Personal Recollections of Joan of Arc is a serious book. I wrote it for love, and never expected it to sell. But you have pleasantly disappointed me in that matter. In your hands its sale has increased each year. 
In 1904, you sold 1,726 copies. In 1905, 2,445. In 1906, 5,381. And last year, 6,574. End of Booksellers by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman.